are you doing, Curtis? Less good now. Okay, it's because I'm touching your shoulder. Yes. <laughs> How about now? Is this one better? More good now. Okay, oh yeah, let's... Oh, might be a fight though. Yeah, we're gonna see the concussive shot onto Chalice. He's stuck on the other side of Roche here, and that is gonna be a super easy first blood for Ramses playing the Bloodseeker in game number one. That's a really big first blood. If you click on Ramses, he actually has the Blades of Attack build, which means he's going for a really fast phase boots. I really like this build because he's not gonna get pressured. He knows this against the Call of Earth Spirit. The idea of RNG's lineup is like, you want to take some long fights. Like, you're going to have a Winter's Curse to disengage some BKB Erupter. And if you look at um, Outsider's lineup, like, they're very... Yeah, Give him the benefit of the doubt there, perhaps. Uh, this is still really good head and shoulders as well, which I think... Uh, it's very important. Yeah, Aoi, do extra you, damage. Aoi, what do you have to say about head and shoulders? <laughs> <laughs> so strong opinions. <laughs> Oh, Anna getting quite low. He's actually going to turn this around after Yamich as he is in his meta form, but it's going to be oh. a trade, and Yamich is the one with the XP coming out of that, so Anna only with the gold exchange. And he gets tipped right after. That's huh? meta down, too. He popped it right before he died. Yeah. That's quite why the tip is happening. I feel like Outsiders, their chance to win this game is actually the fact that both their sidelines are looking really good. Like, this Terrorblade versus DP matchup, I feel like it's pretty volatile. And Marcy versus Wyvern, like, if the Marcy does what just happened there, you, like, kill the Terrorblade and uses meta, mm -hmm. then DM can actually take over this game. He already has two no talismans. Yeah, he's sitting on almost 70 base damage. Uh, with meta being down, too, I feel like DM can just run at him when he has two Spirit Siphon charges. They might even go over here. Oh, yeah, here yeah, they go. And a rebound. Nova is their target right now. He's going to get disposed back into the creep wave with the Spirit Siphon from DM. He's getting chased by Anna. Let's be a little bit careful. Quirk Swarm comes out as well as X Nova just trying to limp away, but it's not going to happen. DM gets credit for that one. Now they can turn their sights to Anna. Probably no kill coming from this, but it's down to half HP just after TP. To the ult from Hakoda and the silence to follow. Just a couple more right clicks will suffice, but he's going to live. Somnus does with very little HP. And since Hakoda is the one that dies, Ramses gets off his rupture with the blood right to follow. And Yamich looking to finish off Kaka in style here. So that's going to be a one for one. It's a nice toss back from GPK. Avalanche to follow as well. Next up on the other side of the river gets a curse off, but really to no avail. And even an exorcism pop to try to pressure this tier one mid. Trying to defend it on Chalice. He actually does have Spirit Vessel on the Coddle. Uh, no charges yet, of course. That'd be very valuable against this DP right now. And after dying, and if he dies again, this would be absolutely disastrous. Able to dodge the Illuminate, but he's going to get Blinding Lit back into the fray with that Spirit Vessel still applied. He's just going to go down again. Yamich a little bit late. He gets off the Dispose on a Somnus, but he's going to phase shift. Be able to orb away, but looks like he is ruptured. Still has the orb to, to jaunt to again. Needs help from Chalice. Gets out of the ramp. Pops the BKB. Another phase shift. And Ramsey's having to waste a BKB charge. And the rupture now dissipating from Somnus, who's pursuing even further as Kaka leads the way. Gets off the vault. And DM with the silence. That might put this to an end, although Somnus was not silenced. So the orb coming out again. But obviously, no coil quite up yet. So again, Outsiders punished, and GPK DM showing off some of that physical damage with the Exorcism. GPK looking for an ABBA, but not finding anybody. Fortifications pop, but does it look like RNG are looking to defend this in any capacity? And the fort from Outsiders now. I'm trying to trade Tier 2 for Tier 2. Yeah, and I think, I mean, it looks like Outsiders might have time to try to defend if they want, but the Exorcism's... Gotta be Radiant's getting low here. Tower. It might just be a trade, like you said. Radiant's so, outpost control tower. likely to swap places, although RNG don't really fully commit to the tier two. Yeah. I mean, if Outsiders wants to defend the tier two, they have to, like, flip the entire map, which feels a little weird, but. Roshan is on that side anyway, so maybe they will opt to do oh, it. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, Roshan's a big boy in this game, actually, in most games, one would say. That one on the side of two. Oh, good vision. They have a Hexer. The illusions are there. There's an initiation on the ramp. It's like instant GPK avalanche. And Kaka, he's just stuck in place thanks to the rupture. Toss on to the Brace target with the Mystic Flare there. Oh, man. Curse is huge, though. Kind of buying time for the rest of their heroes to get out of dodge. Looks like RNG are doing just that. But Somnus? DM's actually the one doing the chasing on X Nova, but... Looks like that exorcism is it's not going to be put to great use as Roche still not quite up yet. What if that's the play? If you all, if everybody does magic damage, then the curse does nothing. 
Prophet, that's really Prophet, smart. Death Prophet Spirits, they don't go through. Down there, the map is split around the middle lane and not the river. The river is a lie. Everything's about Roshan. Yes. Oh, we have the coil on to two. Somnus is getting against the Avatar. He's extremely low, but Kafka jumps in with that BKB. Kicks away the Marcy. And he might be the sacrifice, although getting healed to a high degree thanks to the Cold Embrace and the Illuminate. He's ruptured. He's getting backed by Ramses, but you can see Anna doing a ton of damage to Ramses in the meantime with that Scotty. Keeping it in play. And he's actually going to go down to the Waning Rift as well as Anna pops the BKB. Now turning his sights onto DM. Just man mode deluxe here. DP versus Terror Blade. But you can see the curse comes out of the last moment here. Double kill for Somnus. And the DM is going to go down to the triple kill from Somnus, who's just continuing to absolutely destroy this fight. And GPK, he's going to get Yules and the Waiting Rift, secures an ultra kill for the Puck, and a full team wipe for Aaron. And Ramses trying to defend this tier 2 tower, which is basically dead at this point. The Rupture comes out onto Chalice, who's going to get Cold Embrace, GPK with the BKB, but they're just going to leave him to the Mystic Flare, so... Nice pick off here from Outsiders to see if they can get some more. Even despite going against this Aegis, but we really heal. Charred, I feel like. Yeah. Th those... Oh, he bought the Scotty, actually, so the thing. I mean, he is pretty damn farmed. There's the jump in from Kaka, but the instant avalanche into the BKB was going to get ruptured. They do find Dakota in the end as the buyback now comes out from Dakota himself. Damage taken out very quickly, but Ramsey's focusing on Chalice. Will be successful in taking him out. And of course, Wyvern is a huge kill. The Bash is there, so no curse comes out. But the buybacks do come through for basically everybody in this game, it feels like. And Anna, very low on HP. Doesn't have his Sunder up. He's just getting an Avatar, and no Anna available for RNG. As Ramsey's very annoyed with this puck, and he's actually going to go down to the overwhelming blink from Somnus. But GPK does get revenge, and that turns into a double kill for him. And I believe that's the first death for Somnus in this game, if I'm not mistaken. But a very back and forth fight that's apparently not over. The curse finally comes out after the buyback. Just gonna scout it out with the orb. This is a really important Roche. There's the coil. It's only gonna hit one though. And there's the BKB from Anna in the meta focusing on Ramses. Not able to take him out quite yet. He's just limping away but finally drops on the backside. We'll buy back instantly though. And Anna getting quite low. He's gonna get cold embrace. But they have enough magic damage to rip right through him. He does have buyback but again no meta to work with as Yamich gets a nice dispose onto the Wyvern to that low ground. X Nova is mega dead. And Outsiders now outnumbering RNG. Another beautiful Avatos back into the river. And a second toss to follow it up with. And that is another death on RNG, which means Outsiders should be able to snag themselves this Aghanim Scepter and third Roche. Of course, Somnus is still up, and I want to make sure that he doesn't have any crazy shenanigans to get in the pit, but this is going to be a freebie for Outsiders now. Huge fight. I, I'm not sure about these TP. I think maybe he was considering selling the MKB for a Satanic or something. No, no, like... Up the roll, and Kaka with a BKB, and he's going to get ruptured immediately. So he tries to actually TP out, but the curse comes out. And the right clicks from Ana doing quite a bit of damage on the outskirts of this fight as GPK is his target. It's a 1v1. This is going to be an easy one for Anna. And all they get in retribution is Kaka. He's going to buy back in the game instantly, but Anna getting completely focused now in that cold embrace. Do they have enough magic damage to go through him? They do. Double kill for Ramses with still the Aegis intact. And DM, he's got the cheese available if he wants to use it. This will be a dieback on the Kaka, and indeed it is. 110 seconds without your Earth Spear. Pretty big deal. Som is able to dispel that silence. The fight might end here, although he's going to use the Overwhelming Blink to go back on top of Ramses, who's slowed to a crawl. Yamich, his arms aren't long enough to get that dispose off this time. He's going to be Solar Bound. Oh, Somnus is in. Yep. He's trying to do puck things here. Have Ooh, they found X more, more of the lobby here with Agam Scepters. DM. Trying to defend there. He's going to see the coil, actually. Kaka breaking GPK out of the coil. Nicely done. Pops the BKB, but that's physical damage coming from Anna. Very nice pick off from RNG, but obviously GPK at this stage of the game does have buyback. Yamich, he gets off the disposal. There's the buyback from GPK, but Anna turns into Metaform. Yamich, oh, wait. That was a Sunder Reflect from the Lotus Orb. Very unfortunate for Anna. He's ruptured now, has that Satanic, but he's going to get bursted down to the ground. 100 seconds, but he does have buyback. But again, we've talked about the Transformation Heroes not wanting to expend it. That Lotus Orb completely won the fight for Outsiders. 
And the BKB from Kaka to roll away, but a nice block off. Do they have the stun through BKB? Oh, they do! The BKB ends early, and Kaka is dead for 90. And Outsider still securing the fourth Roche. I don't think this Rax would have even mattered that much either if they if they do get it. At this point of the game, 53 minutes, like we're seven minutes away from tier five neutral items, you know? One lane of Rax, whatever. Why did you have to say that? I'm sorry, I jinxed it. I did jinx it. I like you said, the 55 minute mark. Maybe Outsiders just goes down mid. Oh, nope, they're it's not. gonna get sheeped actually, and this is gonna be the death of Somnus. Great reaction from Outsiders. He does have buyback, of course, but Dyer's the lead is growing. And not just Aegis, Refresher Shard, Ags, and all that garbage, but 20k on top in terms of just the pure farm discrepancy. They're going to force the puck buyback here. It's down to a 60-40, though, even though the lead has grown in the last few minutes for Outsiders. Exorcism now onto the high ground. Level 29 Death Prophet. Yeah, he has three Exos, three BKBs. Yeah, he's getting right clicked by Anna, though. Rupture comes out onto Anna. She's going to sidestep the blood, right? DM. Eating up these illusions pretty nicely. And this is going to be the He's going to kick DM back into the base. The BKB instantly. Trying to focus down Anna. He's dead. A hundred seconds. No terribly. It was a nice curse, but again, not a whole lot of damage to follow it up with. And GPK dies, or sorry, the, the Earth Spirit dies. Kaka buys back into the game. And Outsiders are more than healthy. Now in a 5v4, and that's not including the Turbo, the Chief, and Aegis. For buyback. I think someone needs to TP to a shrine right now. Yeah, here's uh, Baby's going. Yeah, so getting the bounty run so he can get his buyback, but no meta. Unless he has that finished refresher. He, he bought up the Daedalus there. He felt like he lacked damage, but... Okay. Now he doesn't have meta, so I think they're giving up this Rax as well. They'll fight the third one. Yeah, so first set of Rax is down. Trying to find Somnus. That would be a game winner if they can get him. He's in the trees, just trying to delay this as much as possible. Uh, they might find the Wyvern instead. The Silence with the Mystic Flare, and down goes X Nova. Buys back, though, with Anna in addition. So Outsiders, let's see if they want to stick around. Melee Rax is in their favor. Attacking to disengage, but Ramsey's just slow to a crawl. A nice coil onto two, but again, this is just the age. Oh, oh, oh. Just ripped him a new one. DM and company looking to take game one in style. After being down about 10k, they have flipped this upside down. Hello? You can see Somnus has a lot to say about this. He has a Dagon of his own and DM getting quite low. So Outsiders might need to reset a bit. But you can see the Mystic Flare with the Aghanim Scepter. Not doing much because that was on a creep. As Chalice. Gets off the Spirit Siphon, he's gonna get silenced now, and with that Battery Assault and right clicks from Ramsey, should net Outsiders a very valuable kill. Yeah, no Sky Alt doesn't even use the Doom either. They just knew they had the damage between the Sky Silence and the Battery Assault for that, so they still have abilities up for Outsiders. And you're seeing the, the Rat Dota come from Ana. Exactly what you do on Nature's Prophet, the Filth yeah, this is the Incarnate. Good, this is the good See how fast to make sure that RNG feels like they can still kill people. But the lead is growing for outsiders. Five kills. went for a mithril hammer first. We have the exorcism toss back from Kaka. So obviously DM used all his gold, so I won't be losing anything of that, but still, very nice kill from RNG. I think these kills on Beastmaster mean a lot. This hero. Uh, we saw in the last series with Entity vs EG, but the hero snowballs out of control a lot of the time, and his lane wasn't the best, but he was ready to start killing these tier 2 towers and opening up the map. Radiant Oh, Ramsey misses the hook stomp, but they still get Chalice despite it. My goodness, and Kaka looks to be next on the list. Gracious me oh my, even without a stun, they just blow that Death Prophet out the water. I gotta say, this series... Unlucky. Yeah. That, who was that? Actually, of GPK pops the BKB Viper Strike onto Ana Kaka. I will hit the Avalanche as a result of the magic immunity. So Anna punished, and now they might be able to get Kaka as well inside the cogs. Not even bothering with the Mystic Flare, just too much damage from GPK, who's now level 16, and they can just go into the pit. 
where Roche number one fights with a Yamish looking for the hook shot. He'll find it. Mystic Flare inside the cogs. Radiance and goodbye, Kaka. X Nova also drops though, so both supports dead. Let's see if out Midas. Like we've seen a lot of nature's profit by Midas this tournament. A lot of carries in oh. general by Midas, as we're gonna see. The Doom applied to Ember, ran to pop the BKB to try to finish him off, and he'll do so very easily. Colonel Blade now into the Tiny, as Yamich stuck inside his own cost. Trade right now is just for the Skyrath Mage, as Ramsey's continuing with his pressure, but there comes the Sprout. Nice forward to keep Ramsey safe for now. Trying to get away from these disgusting looking mutant tree ants, and he will be successful, but Anna, will he die? Able to TP out himself, Chalice. Has that BKB up, and no man on GP to get these poison attacks, but it's not going to matter because three Vipers is greater than one. And it actually TP's in to finish off Ramses after going back to base, it looked like. Very nice play from him, but now he does not have a teleport. Eight seconds. Yeah. He's going to get sprouted, but he can get himself out of there. But of course, the shard, very annoying to deal with. Gets out the Hawk. Anna TPing out, and he wins. Kaka, he gets a nice toss off on GPK, but that's a BKB instantly into the Viper Strike from Chow. They're going to the TP fight out, but the hook shot cancels it again. And Ramsey's coming in with a nice doom onto Anna, who's just right clicking. He's doing a lot of damage, but there's the Mystic Flare. Deletes him from 100 to 0, just like that. And GPK getting pretty damn low, and they will find him at the very least, but it's going to cost them dearly. They're going to lose one, and maybe even the Ember to follow Somnus. I'm sure has any remnants left, but there's the roar back up after it was used to initiate, it feels like, in this fight. So a four for one for Outsiders. And Hakoda well, trying to slow out Kaka as the rest of Outsiders come to get this full team wipe, potentially. Ramses with the Shiva slows him down. Infernal Blade. And that is a full team wipe for Outsiders and likely the second Roche as well. Huge fight for them. Oh, Ramsey's is gonna TP butt, grab that refresh. Looking to initiate, and it's gonna be Ramsey's, as that is a deletion of Kaka with the use of the Mystic Flare. And now GPK can just focus on these buildings. The question is can RNG defend 45? Do they give up two sets of racks by the time this tiny's back up? Of course, all the outer towers are down, so they could just go for the megas. We'll see what RNG can do to try and defend, but these towers are absolutely melting as well, the initiation back in for Ramses gets off the Doom onto the Ember Spear with the roar on top. They really want to kill Somnus, and they do. No buyback for him as GG is called, and RNG...